I wanted to just share just for a second about uh, people. Uh, and I'm not here to go come on here talking about anyone, but for you to make it to your goals, you're gonna need people. Uh, I think that we got out of the mode of needing people coming through this COVID season. Everybody was trying to stay out of the way. Everybody was trying to stay off the beaten path. You didn't want a lot of people. You didn't want anybody coming over. You didn't want to run into anybody. You didn't want to come into the job. Uh, and I thank God for bringing us through that season, most of that season, because it still seems to be looming, uh, bringing us through that. But for you to accomplish most of your goals, you're going to need people. I sold uh, Hondas uh, in the uh, 90s in Memphis. Uh, that put me in my... Uh, mid to late 20s and early 30s before I left. So it was the ideal car for people that were the same age as me. And, but I, what I knew that I had to do, especially selling in White Haven, I had to talk to enough people, talk to masses of people for some of them to become prospects. And then some of those prospects will eventually have the credit or the money to actually buy. So everything I need to say, I had to reverse engineer. If I wanted somebody to buy, I had to get someone as a prospect. If I had to get some prospects that were serious enough to buy, I'd have to talk to a whole bunch of other prospects. And I just had to keep talking to people whether they were prospects or not. So sometimes you got to reverse engineer to get yourself to the goal. The blessed thing that we have nowadays is the technology where you can touch people. I heard the other day that uh, there used to be six degrees of separation from everyone. Now there are 3.6 degrees of separation once you factor in the internet, uh, email, and all of the many modes of communication that we have betwixt each other. So, your next connection, your next group of people may be a DM to a thought leader, a business coach, or whoever, someone that's working in a lateral lane with you in another business. So, there's no reason for you, if you keep staying around the same people forever, you're going to keep experiencing the same experiences if you want some new experiences you're going to have to get around some new people so you need people for your goals you need people to push your destiny you need people uh to make it to your next level so i know we all want to do it alone but you're not the best prospect for your own product you're gonna have to need some people to purchase it, some people to promote it, some people to tell other people about it, some people to do a, a myriad of things. So you need people. I know that we've been as safe as we possibly could. And maybe now, even with another scourge that's looming, uh, we're not totally home free. But all of social media, there's six large platforms and most of those platforms have group settings you'd be surprised how many people in some of these groups some of these groups got 20,000 some of these groups got 50,000 I'm not saying that you go in there and spam everybody but be part of the conversation you'd be a, uh, be surprised who you can meet and then you need to get in the business of meeting new people if you want to keep reliving the same experiences, then keep being around the same people. If you want some new experiences, you need new people. So get around new people, meet them, introduce yourself, extend your, well, you can't extend your hand anymore, but introduce yourself. 
Be nice to that person in line. Be nice to the person by, by the register. Be nice, period. Uh, I mean, I know sometimes being nice can be uh, uh, interpreted, misinterpreted as if you're trying to be flirty or whatever. But all you're trying to do is just make a solid business contact. Because for you to get contracts, you're going to need some contacts. And I know, I, I think, you know, I'm coming out of knee surgery right now, coming out of a bad, a semi-bad uh, business situation several months back. But I actually think it was quite liberating and might have saved my life and might have put me back on the path of what I need to be doing. So look, I always knew how to hunt. If you are a good hunter, you know how to go out and meet a whole bunch of people out of that group. A few of them will look like prospects and even fewer number of those will be serious prospects and an even fewer number of those will be prospects that want to buy from you. So you got to do it all. You need people to make your goals, people to buy your book, people to buy your coaching, people uh, for to buy your course, people to buy your webinar, people to populate your church. I knew a guy once in the Memphis area in another time, but he actually went and witnessed to people in Walmart. He would go up to them with food in his basket, but he'd go up and ask, do you know Jesus? And he actually built a church out of a Walmart here in Memphis. Uh, he, uh, from the people he met. Those are the people that came to the church. Jesus said, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. We're ready to be at fisticuff. It's only 48, 7 to 48% of people even belong to a church anymore. But we're ready to go, uh, pa pastors ready to go to fisticuffs about who took their good member. And if you really be honest, that big old bus that's on its way to hell that takes daily trips, it's so full, it's, it's amazing. So you need people. Maybe your outreaches are leaving you dependent on the same old folks that come late to church, that don't arrive, that don't do what they've been doing the same thing and you're frustrated as a leader, a pastor or whatever because you kept your group too small. You need to expand. For expansion, you need people. I know you want money, but guess what? When Jesus sent uh, someone out and, you know, looking for <laughs> taxes, he said, it's in the mouth of the fish. Guess what? We call those we witness to fish, right? Whatever you need, it's in the pockets of those fish. So for, I'm telling you, you need people to make it to your goals. Stop being a recluse. I've done that. Yeah, pride was hurt. Uh, I felt in a different situation. Didn't even want to function. Didn't want to do a million and one things. But I'm back in people mode. You need people to reach your goals. Watch me. Count me. I'm going to reach out to so many folks. It's going to be crazy. So if you hear from me, I'm on my quest to get some more people. Have an awesome day.